As Australian regulators look set to change derivatives trade reporting regulations, I spoke to Chief Executive of FP Markets, Matt Murphy, to find out what this could mean for the industry and whether next year could see that same volatility as 2015. Matt Murphy, welcome to Dukoscopy TV. It's a pleasure to have you. Thanks very much for having me. No problem at all. Now, let's get started on these ASICS derivatives trading regulations that's coming into play this week. FP Markets, how are you guys positioned really to, to deal with these new regulations? Well, look, this is something that's been discussed for a long time with the regulators. The industry has been well engaged with it. It's something that we've obviously known about for a long time. So we're very well positioned. We are certainly ready to go. Uh, we welcome the opportunity to uh, have the regulators have more information uh, and effectively look under the bonnet of OTC providers' positions. And, and we see this as a good thing because it certainly gives uh, the ability for regulators to better regulate these, these products, particularly to provide additional protection to retail clients, but also to better regulate the industry at large. So I think that it is a good thing for everyone. Um, FP Markets as a business is very well resourced. Uh, we've spent a lot of money in IT systems over the years. So the transition to go from our, our current systems to make the uh, required um, trade reporting available to the regulators is not an overly big step for us. And therefore we've been uh, ready to go well ahead of schedule. Now, the 2015 trading year has really been characterised by a lot of market volatility. Are you seeing that kind of continuing through into 2016? Well, look, there's no doubt that it has been a very volatile year, starting, of course, with the uh, large Swiss franc move back uh, the earlier this year, uh, when the Swiss National Bank decided that they would no longer peg the Swiss franc against uh, the euro. As a result of that, we saw extraordinary volatility. Uh, some parts or some pockets of the market obviously slowed down substantially. However, with volatility, um, obviously comes trading opportunities and as such we've actually seen if anything growth in some areas uh, within the FX market. Uh, I'd say that we've also seen growth in index products as a result of the volatility. Um, I think 2016 uh, has a lot going on this year, uh, notably potential rate uh, rises in the US, which I think has been factored into the market for some time, but eventually when it comes to fruition, it inevitably has effects on the market. Uh, I think the other interesting point is the Chinese, so uh, the slowdown in China. Um, obviously it's a major driver of commodity prices, and as we see fluctuations or falls in commodity prices, it obviously has flow-on effects for the currency market, and flow-on effects obviously which dictate volatility in the market. Um, here in Australia, we have obviously have potential rate cuts, uh, which inevitably will, will determine or have some effect on, on the valuation of our Australian dollar here. I think a number of investors would have actually liked to have seen a stabilisation in the market. Um, having said that, um, for the reasons that uh, I've discussed above, I, I am actually thinking that 2016 is likely to be in uh, a relatively volatile year. Now, FP Markets has, has the wealth of having 10 years experience behind you guys. In what, that sense in mind, what do you guys see as, as the challenges and the opportunities then perhaps in, in the coming years? Sure. Well, look, over the last 10 years, we have seen a lot happen. We've seen the markets grow. We've seen them contract. We've seen a number of regulatory changes. We've been through a major financial crisis. We've obviously seen one of the biggest uh, currency movements that we've ever seen. So as a result of a number of challenges, we've gained a lot of experience. We're a very robust and strong company. And one of the big benefits of having been through a, a variety of market conditions is that we're very well positioned to take advantage of the opportunities from what we have learned. Um, for us, I think the biggest opportunity is, is that we have spent uh, well over $3 million on building very complex and up-to-date uh, trading systems which enable clients to get superior trade reporting, superior trade execution. So I think for us our real opportunity is enabling more and more clients to know about the business. Um, we, throughout the last five years, we actually have been awarded the most highest level of client satisfaction. Uh, we've grown considerably, so I think the opportunity for us really relies around or revolves around making more people aware of what we actually have here at FP Markets.
So with that in mind then, what are some of the targets perhaps that FP Markets has set itself over the coming 12 months? Sure. Well, look, we've experienced extraordinary growth. Over the last two years, we've almost doubled the number of employees that we have. So our, one of our key targets is to keep the current trajectory of growth going, which is very healthy. Uh, we're currently moving into Asia. Uh, which is starting with the opening of a Shanghai office in uh, January 2016, which we're quite excited about. And the other real target for us is over the next 12 to 18 months, we're looking to double our market share. We've developed a lot, we've spent a lot of money on, on systems, technology, customer service. As I said, we are one of the better respected organisations and for us it's more about just getting our word out there amongst, uh, amongst traders. Matt, many thanks for the update. Thank you very much. Certainly lots to come then still before the year end. I'm Natalie MacDonald. You've been watching Sydney Direct on Ducascopy TV. Goodbye for now.